If you've been following along, you know we've been struggling with some oil leaks, changed out the gaskets and the type of valve covers that we had on our new engine, and we are able to seal them up. Even though I may have put enough seals and everything to stop it from coming out of the valve covers, I am pumping way too much oil into the top of my engine. Those valve covers are holding all of that oil and letting my oil pump go dry for even a second at a time. That's not a good thing. So how do we fix that? Enter in oil restrictors. Yeah, where do they go? How do you put them in? Well, let's do that. All right, so we're in a little bit of a tight spot here, but I want you to be able to see what's going on. These are the oil restrictors here. So they have a hole right here, see the hole? And then they have got a hole drilled in the side. All right, so oil is passing through them. So it's a metering block. What it's doing is it's controlling how much oil can go through a passage. Well. The passages that we're going to be uh, restricting is where the oil is coming from the oil pump up the back of the block and where it pushes up through the galley that feeds all of the lifters. Now we've got solid lifters on our cam, not hydraulic, and so they make a set of restrictors that have an orifice that's tighter just because that a solid lifter doesn't need as much oil as what a hydraulic lifter does. And it's gonna cut down the amount of oil that's gonna get pumped to those lifters. Well, that pumps through the lifters, up the push rods, and out into the heads. And so if we restrict it right here, we're restricting how much oil ultimately goes up the channel, down along the cam, through the hydraulic lifter or the solid lifter in our case out the push rod and over into the head that's how it's getting there so we're gonna choke that down with that hole right there is how we're gonna do it now where these are located specifically is right in behind this flex plate so flex plate or flywheel either one's got to come off for us to do this let's get this off here where i can show you let's get them plugs out let's get them in lock this flywheel up here i can't get a Get a lock here on it. Like, let's see if I can. Yeah, that should work right there. There we go. I have to check. These are ARP flywheel bolts. I think these torque to 75 foot pounds. I think, if I'm not bad and mistaken, the stock ones are 60 foot pounds, and I think these are 75. But I'll check. Alright, I'm good there. And this is this coupler I have for this Falcon transmission right here. And speaking of Falcon transmissions, I have got it sitting on the bench. And the next video coming up, I've got a rebuild kit for it. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I've never rebuilt a racing transmission. But there's first time for everything. We're going to find out. Well, she's coming, but whoo, is that slow? That is one tight fit. Tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and. Y'all. I'm just going to go ahead and warm it up and get it off there. Because that's all it needs. A little bit of heat and it'll come right off there. That's what I'm going to do. We're not going to fight with this bad boy. Tell you what, cut it off right there, drop that puller back on, and see if it'll just pop off there. We might get lucky. It's got to come off one way or the other, got to come off. There it comes. Dog, oh, that's hot. Rubbed up against my leg. Okay. All right, so this plug right here is going in that hole and that hole right there. But this plug's deep inset in there 
and the shoulder right there, that's not going to work. Um, but it's fine. What I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take some of that shoulder off on that block where that plug will sit on down and tighten up where I need it to. And it will work just fine. So I'm going to take a three quarter inch uh, drill bit. And I left the plug in there because I don't want any metal to get in my oil galley or anything and into my bearings. So I'm just going to take and I'm going to drill this outside shoulder and then take the plug out. And that way I won't have any metal in there. All right, I got them clearance where that my shoulders will fit and everything. Any metal off that outside edge there. Get off there. And now I can pull these bad boys out. Like I said, all I did was just kind of drill down to it. I didn't actually drill into the plug. I just cleared that shoulder out around it. Oh, like it right there. All right. See how that's gonna. See how that'll work out. Oh yeah, that's gonna work so good. Yeah, cause what it is, the O-ring goes up into the passage and just seals it up, and then makes it. It forces it through that restrictor. Yeah, it works just fine. All we want to do is make sure it doesn't leak to the outside of the block. And these are aluminum, so you don't go crazy tightening them up. Just load them up with thread tape where they'll seal up and, and let her rip. All right, so not that big a deal. You saw I even modified the block for them to work and I, they make them that's got an Allen bolt in the middle that would have went all the way down in there. But same difference to me, that's fine. Go ahead and just clearance them and then I don't have to worry about it. Um, but while I got the flex plate off, I mean, I'm looking, I don't have any oil leaks or anything going on back here. I'll go ahead and make sure these bolts are tight while I got a chance to do it. And then just get it all bolted and buttoned back up. Uh, just a quick one here. I want to show that since I was doing it because I am tired of oil leaks and we just going to stop all of them gremlins. Uh, and I have got the transmission, which is where I'm sitting right now. It would be here, but I've got it on the tool bench and I have got the rebuild kit sitting there in the plastic. And that one's next, y'all. Okay, see you next time.